he actually had this video that they had made in like the World War One or World War Two. Um, it was hemp for victory, and it was telling farmers to grow marijuana. Like marijuana, like the plant marijuana is also hemp. Yeah. Right. So what what marijuana is is a psychoactive female version of a very similar plant. So now they've kind of engineered hemp so it doesn't have any THC in it. Yeah. So you can't smoke the hemp. But that hemp is what they were fighting. They weren't really fighting marijuana. They were fighting hemp because it's a superior textile. It makes the best, most durable clothes. Yeah. It makes a far superior paper. You could use it to build houses with. Why doesn't everybody cream. use hemp then? It should be. It should be well, one. It but also, why, not, why not the switchover? Because there's a lot of moving pieces when it comes to things like this. There's a lot of moving pieces that are in gear. They're moving. So hemp is now legal in the United States, right? So then the industry has to kind of build up and you have to have manufacturing. If New you really want to do it, and... if you really want to hire skilled labor to yeah. make hemp clothes that you build here. Here in America now it's possible but at on it we used to have to buy our hemp from Canada because you couldn't grow it in the United States even though it was legal because it wasn't psychoactive so we had hemp protein powder oh, and we fuck. used to have to get it grown in Canada that's crazy. we couldn't even hire we couldn't even hire an American farmer to grow it yeah I know that hemp is also um, like the clothes are anti it's like antibacterial anti yeah. what I didn't yeah. know any of this yeah, yeah they make hemp geese yeah, yeah what they're, they're, yeah I mean I have a hemp gee yeah, Datsura. Does it? It's the shit. Does you it can smell find them less? online. They're, it's just, they're just real durable, like real fucking durable. Like the only thing that's gonna break is the threads, and then you right. just restitch it. Like that cloth is not ripping. It's it's really fucking strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, hemp is a weird thing. Like my friend Todd McCormick had a stalk of hemp on his desk. He's like, pick this up. I picked <laughs> it up. And I was like, what the fuck, man? It weighs nothing. It was hard. Really? It was hard like oak. But it weighed nothing. It weighed wow. nothing. It wow. was like balsa wood. I feel like we we need to get up on hemp. See if you can see like a fat hemp stalk, like that. So that's the stuff that they turn into clothing. So they strip it away, and it's like it's a very difficult process. And for the longest time, they they were doing it with slave labor. And then when the cotton gin came along, the cotton gin made it easier to process cotton. Mm. Oh. And so it wasn't until the decorticator was invented. And the decorticator was a new method to effectively process hemp fiber with a machine. So they had this machine that's going to strip it down. Because otherwise they were using, like, people were pounding on it right. and shit. Wow. So this in, was invented, and then all the reefer madness shit came out. Because there was a thing, it was, oh, a, so I think it was Popular the... Science Magazine. See if that, hemp, the new billion dollar crop. See if you can find that. Then they had the two and they just chose the cotton because there was no drama was behind easier. it. It wasn't just there was no. No, it was the people that it was William Randolph Hearst was one of them. So William Randolph Hearst owned Hearst Publications. Look, billion dollar crop. It was on the cover of the magazine. See if you can find the cover because it's kind of hilarious to see that, that they have this, this story about this new billion dollar crop, yeah. hemp. I mean, it's really wild shit. Yeah, that's wild. Well, so now can can anyone yeah, grow hemp? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it wasn't on the cover. But that's the story right there. Hemp, the billion-dollar crop. God, I swear it was on the cover. But I have a fucked-up memory sometimes. Hemp fiber being delivered from machines ready for bailing. Piles of pulverized herds uh, beside machine is 77% cellulose. So they strip it down with that machine. And they, so they immediately were like, okay, now we, we're going to have, you know, this stuff that's lighter, it's better, it's stronger. It's really like a fucking alien plant. It's real weird. It's, it when is. you pick it up, it feels weird. You ever been in a grow room? Yes. How weird do those feel? So weird. Weird. Why so do they weird. feel weird? Like there's something else in there with you. <laughs> yeah. You're like, not yeah. like Hal is in there with you. Yeah. Like, well, can I tell you? Hello, Kim. I have a lot of plants, <laughs> and I feel like that about my plants in general. She calls I one have, of them her dog. I have I have this huge monstera plant, and I swear to God, it just feels alive, and it creeps me out sometimes. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of house plants. You're not? What? No, because I think it's like little prisoners. I think <laughs> I think they're supposed to be outside this little trapped ecosystem, relying on you to play classical music for them. Uh, I think they want to be out there. Now I'm sad for my plants. I think <laughs> they, they don't even get classical music. <laughs>